Hey, welcome back to Dominican Rendezvous. Man, what a what a privilege it is to be here and to talk to you. I'm so gratefully, gratefully thankful um, to all of those of you who have subscribed, particularly to those of you who are sending comments as well as emails. Um, uh, it's really nice and, and very rich to hear your your thoughts and some of the questions that you're asking me, uh, some of you soliciting advice from me, um, some of you asking me to refer uh, this person or that person uh, or the other thing. I, I, I'm honored. And again, I just do this as a hobby. Um, I have a full-time job. I'm working and I do what I have to do to, to, to make a living. But I do this on the side uh, because the Dominican Republic is one of my passions, as many of you already already know. So again, thank you so much uh, for that. And um, I do appreciate you. Today, I wanted to kind of address um, a uh, email that I got uh, last weekend. And in the email, it was a long email, and part of the email was about a gentleman who was having some frustrations with living in the Dominican Republic. And one of the things that he mentioned that really, really bothered him in the Dominican Republic was the amount of noise it was where he was living in Santiago. And I thought I would perhaps try to address this today um, and in in hopefully giving many of you some information about the noise in the Dominican Republic. One of the first things that you'll notice in the Dominican Republic, and certainly in the wonderful city of Santo Domingo, of which I'm going to speak today, that Santo Domingo is a noisy city. And, and to some extent, the Dominican Republic is noisy when compared, if you will, and I hate to compare, uh, with other places that we're more accustomed to, to, to being. Now, when I say noisy, I'm just saying there's a lot of, there's a lot of noise, okay? Uh, there are people talking, talking rapidly, talking loud, uh, stereos in cars, stereos blasting out of businesses, um, just, just noise, a lot of noise, motor conchos with, with their motors and and cars and and buses uh, with engine noise etc etc noise pollution as we know is a is a threat it is a health threat and there are laws on the books in the dominican republic believe it or not uh about noise there is a law called uh number 287-04 there is a noise law uh in the dominican republic and they have tried to 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 control the noise but albeit like many other laws they haven't had so much success but again noise is going to be prevalent in the Dominican Republic, whether it's from airplanes, from trains, from buses, from, from moto conchos, um, from construction equipment. Um, a lot of this, if you look at the bright side of it, is a lot of it, you could argue, is a sign of economic development. It's busy. Uh, but uh, on the flip side, we, re we recognize that noise can be bothersome and noise can be hazardous to, to one's health whether it comes from sirens, from alarms, uh, from stereos, etc., etc. So I understand that. Now, you know, noise can cause headaches. It can cause aggravation, hearing loss, of course, uh, breathing, breathing issues, I'm told. Uh, people that are stressed out about the noise, uh, obviously aggression and nervousness can, can also take place because of the noise, muscle tension uh, simply because of the noise. And so in a sense, you suffer through your health can suffer and in, in general society will suffer uh, because of the noise and i hope as the dominican republic continues to develop uh economically and trying to 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 thrive that at some point the people will come together collectively and try to do something about the noise now with this particular gentleman's email he was having problems with one of his neighbors um who if you've uh, been in the Dominican Republic by uh, any length of time, you know the Camados are, are noisy. Um, they are there for like convenience stores, but people do come around and enjoy the music. They enjoy uh, having a nice cold drink, uh, play dominoes perhaps with their friends, and just hang out. And it can be rather noisy uh, in, in these Camados and certainly uh, in some people's homes as well uh, when they're, when they're uh, making a lot of noise perhaps at a party or whatever the case may be. 
And so my advice when this happens is, is to go and talk to the owner, go talk to, the, to your neighbors, um, understand first and foremost that this is purely a cultural difference. It is purely a cultural difference. What you're used to now is different because you're now in a foreign country. You're a visitor, or if you are living in this country, you're still an expat in, in the Dominican Republic. But first, I would suggest go and start talking to them. Get to know them. Try to, to, to see where they're coming from. Let them see where you're coming from. It doesn't have to be argumentative, but simply try to talk to them and see if you guys can come to some agreement um, you know, by negotiating this whole, this whole issue out. That would be my advice first and foremost. But secondly, I would then say, if depending on where you're living, and again, I've said this in another video, a lot of areas don't have homeowners associations, uh, unless you're in one of the rich Lujo areas, uh, you might have a, a, an association where you could go and talk about the problem, but at least try to find out, and I've already told you that there is a law on the books um, in the Dominican Republic uh, about noise and noise pollution. Again, that number is 287-4, the noise law. So uh, look it up and try to get a copy of it and in Spanish and if possible and need be, send it to your neighbor and just let him see it. And again, try to do it in a way that doesn't you know, create acrimonious uh, contention uh, uh, between, between the two of you. And then if that doesn't work, I would say um, try to, 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 to warn him in writing. Um, get someone to help you know write a letter for you on your behalf if you can't do it yourself uh, in Spanish but half the time it probably won't work uh, but you certainly have that option you can obviously try to call the police I'm not going to say that's going to be a viable option but certainly it is an option I think the best thing and you've heard me say this many times um, on this channel is to if all else fails and you can't negotiate it out uh, um, a settlement and I'm not going to say get up and move because that may not be possible obviously I would say go and talk to an attorney and see what an attorney will advise you to do and if the attorney can help you in this situation in many cases he might or she might be able to depending on what it is that is being said what is being done and if there is total violation of the law recently I have read in some of the periodicals that they are going around and trying to they meaning the government the, the local government authorities are going around and trying to do something about the noise and the noise pollution i hope this helps again it's very basic it's very simple but i just wanted to let you know that noise is a problem in the dominican republic and it is one of those things that can be quite frustrating so um be a good neighbor talk to your neighbors and see if you can work it out from me to you dominican rendezvous